New exchanges wave. Jovan Gavrilovic, OKX. Arda Kutsal, Webratsi. So, hello everyone. Hi everyone. So, Jovan, thanks for coming. Pleasure, pleasure to be and here. And thanks for doing this fireside chat with me. So, let's start quickly. I guess everyone knows about OKX here, but uh, can you please tell a little bit about OKX and like how did you, I mean, how did the company grow this quick? What are you doing in Malta and everything? Um, OKEX is uh, one of the largest digital asset exchanges in the world. Uh, we started uh, about a year ago, so it was actually uh, July 2017. And uh, the question about what made us grow quick is actually very interesting because among uh, several factors, uh, we were one of the first exchanges that um, went to the market and said, come to our exchange, open an account, bring us your Bitcoin, uh, and we will give you the equivalent amount of Bitcoin cash. So we did all the, the technical work and mm -hmm. the infrastructure. Uh, so we just saw a massive influx of new users that were bringing in Bitcoin and getting the same amount of Bitcoin cash. So I think this, uh, we were one of the first, I think, two exchanges to do this. And this helped us sort of gain um, full speed. Mm. And for Malta, we're, we're very excited about our plans for Malta. Um, we did our research earlier this year. Um, we looked at the VFA framework and we were really happy with uh, how wide the scope is. So we, we came to Malta earlier this year. Uh, there's this famous picture of uh, our VP of Business Development, Jason, and our Chief Risk Officer, Tim, with, uh, with Silvio. And that's the first time that Blockchain Island poster was featured, um, which is interesting. So then we spoke with the regulators, we spoke with the legislator, and we were, we were impressed um, with their knowledge of blockchain, uh, the knowledge of the industry itself, and most importantly, their their commitment to provide a sound regulatory framework uh, for this space, which sort of gave us the comfort and confidence to, uh, to move part of our utility token business uh, to Malta. Um, secondly, uh, we are tapping into the security token space. Um, we have signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, MSX, which is the fintech arm of Malta Stock Exchange, which is a long-standing player in the security space here in Malta. Uh, so this is sort of a joint effort to build a uh, safe, secure, and transparent blockchain trading environment mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to serve clients worldwide from Malta, really. Why do you think security tokens will take off? What is that? Um, <laughs> so security tokens, we think uh, it's the next step in the space. Uh, we think that a lot of uh, venture capital firms and investment firms will like to get into this space because they want to bridge sort of this gap between uh, the traditional security space and the digital asset space. Can you give it like a time frame for this? Um, well, we hope. Uh, we hope hopefully Q1, Q2 next year. Um, On Q2 next year? Yeah. This is the yeah. first time you're announcing this, or? <laughs> this is actually a first announcement, yeah. We, we hope so. uh, that the exchange will be titled OKMSX, mm -hmm. so very, very creative. <laughs> OKX announced uh, of listing four new stable coins. Uh, can, can you tell us the reason behind that? Um, yeah, so we, we sort of looked at what the market needs and what the market is demanding. Uh, we listened to our users and uh, we did our due diligence on these four stable coins. And uh, what we really wanted is to sort of uh, give our users uh, more flexibility and more options to, to trade their digital assets in USD-backed cryptocurrencies. And uh, we think that these four stable coins uh, are a great way to provide this additional service to our users. And uh, I think we've opened deposits on October 15th. And uh, we already see a steady growth of, uh, of volume. So people are picking up uh, on these new four options. And also... Sorry, that doesn't mean that uh, USD, uh, USDT or Tether is not on our platform. We very much continued uh, offering USDT. So while you are adding new stable coins, you also delisted, I mean, removed some 
Right, right. Some of uh, them as well. So yeah, not many. That? Yeah, not many. And I think it was a lot actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> not, not many four. exchanges talk about. They usually talk about listing, and they're trying to market a lot about listing. But we've actually uh, decided to uh, delist um, a lot of trading pairs, mm -hmm. and uh, so so basically. It, it, How many was that? Like thirty or something? It's about forty pairs. Oh, yeah. Forty. But the thing is, you know, we you know we also think from the user's perspective. Uh, you know, from the user's perspective, if you want to trade on a digital asset exchange, right, you, you care about liquidity, right? You want your trade to be executed quick. Uh, so we, we frequently monitor our exchange and we monitor trading pairs. And uh, for us to provide a seamless trading experience, uh, you know, we, we don't want to have trading pairs that have really low liquidity because that impacts the trading experience of our users. So we, we conduct this frequent uh, monitoring, and we've identified um, a lot of trading pairs that had really low liquidity. Uh, so we just uh, decided to, um, we made a decision to delist these trading pairs. Now, it's important to note that we did not delist tokens from our platform. We just delisted trading pairs. Yeah. So, so tokens are still on the platform. We still have just a little bit of time. Uh, and I know organizers love when the speakers finish on time, so sure, sure. I'm going to help them with that. Sure. Um, one last question, just, just, sure. just being curious. That, like, uh, you won the awards last night. That's right. Yeah. And That's right. Can, I, I know you're not ready for this question, but just, just wondering if you can answer. Uh, like which countries, can, can you give us some numbers, maybe some like this, these are the top countries uh, on OKX, and this is the number right. number of right. users kind of things. I mean, it's no it's no secret really. We are uh, everyone knows that we're right now in a very Asia focused um, digital asset exchange. But you know, our vision is to expand. Our vision is to serve uh, the entire international markets. Right? We don't have a preference where our users come from. You know, if if our users want to have a good trading experience, we're happy to provide our exchange. Um, so we believe that our expansion to Malta and our presence in uh, multiple jurisdictions will sort of uh, help and encourage other national customers to start trading. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, in terms of numbers, I, I would say the vast majority of our users are uh, from Asia. What's the total number of users? Have you ever announced that? Oh, it's in the millions. It's, it's in the millions. Yeah, yeah. never announced yeah. that. Well, exactly. we, I mean, it's, I, I don't know the latest numbers, but it's definitely in the millions. Yeah. Last time I checked. So good luck in Malta, good luck thank in you. Europe, Grazie. let's say. And yeah. thanks for your time. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. listening. Thank I hope you thank enjoyed you. this quick conversation. Yes, thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, love me now. Organizers love me now because we finished on time. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam.